this week on Kirfatu. I would really describe myself as a circumstantial politician. Hmm. <laughs> That's a, a special kind of animal who was, who was brought into politics by a certain set of circumstances that obtained. Um, in the sense that I've never been against politics and I've in fact always been interested in politics from school days but I never thought of it in terms of taking it up as a career. What kind of man is Adoda? He's multifaceted, predominantly positive. He's a dedicated person who had Gambia in his heart. He was not a demagogue. He wouldn't talk about Gambia like just he really meant it, he showed it. He led a simple life out of sympathy, out of love for this country, knowing how, 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 um, how poor the country is. July 1994, when we had soldiers led by Yaya Jame, yes. and he overthrew the Jawara regime. So, and then later, I, I, I want to assume that you definitely condemned the coup as everyone else. Yes. But then we have seen you join them. I don't have to betray Sadauda. My loyalty is to the Gambia, just as Sadauda's loyalty was to the Gambia. Mm -hmm. I have tremendous respect for him. He's a father figure yeah. to me. Yeah. But when it comes to serving the state, we are citizens. We are acting as citizens. And my loyalty was to the Gambia. So betrayal to Sadauda is, is, is neither here nor there. It doesn't arise. Okay. Uh, when the um, dictatorship was overthrown, finally, I was able to come to this country. Yeah. And when I came, uh, I, I, was, I sought to support efforts to revive the party because party, I found out really, was, yeah. really there had not even any meetings. What would be your response to those who said um, you guys came to take the party away from, from OJ after everything he has done for the past 22 years to, to be the only person who was, um, um, who was on the ground to, to, make, to, to revive the party and all of a sudden you guys came to take the party away from him. A, what would be your response to those people? I would say it's nonsensical and it betrays a deep ignorance on the part of the people who say, speaking that one. Yeah. We are talking about a party, a modern party with democratic aspirations. Personalities don't come in. The, the meeting that rejected this in Elijah's office within 24 hours of the Congress started a whole impetus, a whole momentum, which led less than two weeks later to convening of constituency delegates from again all over. Well, not everybody, but I think we had almost 35 or so constituencies in Bakao. Day, one day special conference, we call it a delegates conference, where the same matter was visited, this time not just by the party secretariat who met in Arab, but by all the, and they also, again, unanimously, without hesitation, said what we saw and heard was, was nothing, was, was, was not acceptable. He, that, that's not the PPP we knew. So they confirmed in a formal statement called the Bakao Declaration that we reject this Congress in its entirety and in its outcome. We reject the, the truncated election which results announced. So we start afresh. Either we are able to convince those who think otherwise and come and we will start afresh, or we will start afresh on our own. We left behind the name PPP, but if you understand how political parties are, the name and the leaders are just the empty shell. The substance is the people and the principles, and the values, and the methods, and the processes. So that was what we moved away with. So, so, so we went and found it. We decided, mm -hmm. we haven't yet found it, we decided mm -hmm. to found a new party, and we decided on a name for it. And we are now set up a steering committee to work on the practical details of actually setting up the party. Yeah.